KSI is talking about. I got robbed. I got robbed. No, the audience <laughs> got robbed. Okay, what That's the true. f did we watch? Drake reviews my music and he just f out. Still better than your son. B <laughs> <laughs> if people ask me who's your favorite boxer, I'm like, I'm following Slim now. I want to see where he takes it. If you're Kevin Hart, you can literally do whatever you want. There's a limit. <laughs> Dylan came off as a little girl. Can I say that? I feel like just being on this podcast right now, my mom's in danger. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I want to see something different, bro. I'm tired of the same characters. You know, like the universe in Marvel where like colliding of people. I want to see Dylan Dennis and Bradley Martin in a cage or like, Ooh. you know what I mean? Like, like spice it up, bro. I'm tired yeah. of the main characters. Mm. Hey, cheers. Cheers, everybody. Let's do a good podcast. Little... Let's crush it. Yeah. Let's go. Cheers. Oh, cheers. Thank you. cheers. 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 Salud. And happy birthday to Reed. Uh, happy birthday. 26. Happy Most birthday. Importantly. Welcome back, guys. Uh, this is, I could already feel the energy of this podcast is uh, like very relaxed. Mm. Cool. We're kind of all in our little cozy element. Vibes. A lot uh, of vibes. Going. How's everybody doing? How's everybody doing? So good. Dude. Good. How Amazing. It's your birthday. <laughs> Let's not make it all Reed. about me. Thank it, you guys. Everybody in the comment section say happy birthday, Reed. Happy birthday, Reed. And what a, what an amazing person to work with. He's happy to be here on his birthday. Mm. Um, and, I, and I'm editing after this, too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> For most of the day. You're always happy, bro. You're like a very happy person. Thank good, you. Good yeah. energy. Always. I don't, yeah. I just don't have like, like I definitely have dealt with like, Mental illness stuff, sorry, instantly right off the rip. But, like, I don't have, like, anger and stuff in my heart. Like, Really? Yeah, I don't... I see people that are negative all the time. And, like, like for instance, people that are on the traf uh, uh, on the highway just, like, flipping people off and stuff. And I'm like... How do you get like, there? How do you... Like, how do you live like that? I just... It doesn't... I can't comprehend it. Dude, it's I just, just, like, beyond do, do me. Do you remember <laughs> when we were in Arizona and I pulled up on that dude that was like... <laughs> And I said, yes. yo, pull over. And then reads in the back and goes, no, don't do that. And I go, <laughs> pull over. So finally we both pull over and we're about to hop out. And there's some things I can't even talk about on camera. And after everything's over, uh, Reed, <laughs> and we're driving off and Reed goes, if you don't mind, I never want to be a part of something like that ever again. <laughs> <laughs> I, was I was like, like bro, like, it, was, it was tense. Like yeah. it could have gone yeah. some, we're in Arizona. <laughs> it could have gone some directions. Yeah. And I was like, if you really break it down, <laughs> I don't want to end up in the hospital over somebody cutting you off on the road, let alone lose my life. A lot of angry people. He with cut guns. me off and he started, he wanted to smoke with me, bro. And I, I said, and, and for some reason, and by the way, I'm not like, I really am not like that anymore. But that was during a time yeah. where I was very frustrated mm -hmm. about things. And uh, he caught me on a day that I had time. It's true. <laughs> and I had time that day. That wasn't the only time either. <laughs> uh, okay, you don't got to do that. Okay. Anyways, <laughs> uh, well, anyways, guys, welcome back. There's a lot of things we got to kind of recap, but I kind of want to just jump into a little fun story before we get into this. Uh, I work out at a nice gym, and at this nice gym, I have some nice people. And when it comes to nice people, there's some nice company, and some of the company might be celebrities. <laughs> We got Jason Derulo working out. We got, we got some actors working out. Jason Derulo always looks like every time he's done with a set, he looks like he's about to dance. I'm not even kidding. He puts it away, and the way he like turns away to go shit, I swear, I feel like he's about to bust out into some moves. He just moonwalks to the racks. Dude, and I stuff. swear. I, and like, I'm not kidding. He like looks around looking for something else to do, and I swear, I, I always look around like, is somebody shooting this guy? Why is he always acting like... He's like, in a music video? I, I feel it. Every time, like, I, anytime Jason Derulo's at the gym, I feel like I don't even exist. I'm background, and I'm just like, all right, I'll just be quiet. But there's this one uh, actor... Marlon Wayne, sorry, sorry for putting you out there. Nicest guy, and I mean the nicest guy. He actually is the professional man at like, hey, keep him moving. I'm here to work out. You know that energy? Like, I ain't here to talk to you. You know what I mean? Like, good for yeah, him. Yeah. Good for yeah, him. Right? So hey, supposed to no one super likes down to, talk to earth. At the gym. Super down to earth. Super nice. But I keep it real short with him, bro. And Batch has always told me he goes, yo, go up to him and to ask him to be on the show. He'll be on the show. And I'm like, bro, when people come here to work out, they're coming here to work out. They don't want to fucking talk to me. And and, uh, but the dude likes to fucking talk. And you're probably wondering, to, to people around him, no. On the phone, bro. This dude <laughs> works really? out and he has his stand-up voice out. He has his stand-up voice. We're at the gym and he's doing leg press. I'm on the other side of the gym. He's like, nah, nah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Nah, nah. No, 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 go ahead, go ahead. Ah! No. Ah, no way. Hey, no, no, no. No, fuck that shit. Fuck that shit. Ah. <laughs> ah, like, and then he gets no on the treadmill. Way. This gym is a very high end gym, and people come there to be quiet and like work out. Ain't nobody telling him to stop talking on the phone. And I'll <laughs> tell you why people pay to hear him talk. <laughs> 
Yeah. That's true. <laughs> you know what I mean? People, people, that, if anybody ever came up to me and was like, hey, dude, could you shut the fuck up? I would beat that guy up. Like, hey, man, this is free. Shut up. Like, you know, we're, <laughs> we're getting to hear him talk, dude. Just let him do let him do his thing. I don't. It's kind of like if Kevin Hart was there and they were saying some shit. Like, no one's going to tell Kevin Hart to stop talking. Yeah, what? That's like, true. they don't want him to stop coming to the gym. If you're Kevin Hart, you could literally do whatever you want. Like, there's no one's going to tell you shit for anything. Mm -hmm. There's a limit. You can hit a child. <laughs> <laughs> There's a limit. There's a limit. There's a little there limit. There might be a limit, but it's pretty high up. But yeah, Kevin Hart can. How do, do you feel like people know, when people see you at the gym? Like, what? How do they react? I didn't mind it until it started getting really crazy, and that, that's why I left LA Fitness because I couldn't work uh, out. Yeah. Uh, and what gym do you work out now? What's the address? The one where Mar <laughs> Marlon Wayne talks at. <laughs> uh, you gotta say his name right, bro. Marlon Wayne. Oh, is that right? Is that right? Yeah. Okay. What did you think it was? Marlon Wayans. Is it oh. Wayans? I think it's Wayans, bro. There's an S oh, at no. the end. Pretty sure. No, oh, that, that sounds. Yeah. You know, right. we, gotta, we gotta have respect on his name. Oh no! Just say it right now, and I'm I'll go in and I'll cut it out of every time you said it and replace it. Got it, Marlon Wayans. Wayans, yeah. Marlon Wayans. Mar I was kind of joking, but I I'll try. Marlon Wayans. Say it in different. Just accents. imagine, <laughs> and then when I'm talking, the tone is like, anyways, I'm like, Marlon Wayans. Wayans. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's actually gonna happen, bro. He's gonna come up to me. He's like, first of all, it's Wayans, and the next time you try to weigh in on what I'm doing, I'm gonna fuck you up. <laughs> I'm, like, right, I'm sorry. Speaking of weighing in, Wait, oh, oh, that was good, bro. Weighing in? Wait, wait, hold on. Where am I? Not? Why am I not? <laughs> Watch. What, wait, you knew it was good, but you're like, what's what happening? Is it? Is it what, for fighting? There was a fight last week. Oh, there was ding, a, ding, ding, the ding, ding. But that, I feel like that's already been kind of talked about. No, this just happened. We got to get into it, People want to know bro. your oh, opinion. Oh, okay. I mean... Did you watch it? What was your thoughts? Okay, well, did well, you pay for that? I feel did like you, you don't pay even money know First of all, I did, and I almost bootlegged it. I'm yeah. not even bullshitting. Yeah. I, I got pissed because the zone... It's like I, if that's a that's an app you need to disown because it's shit. Disown, fuck you guys, bro. No, it took me an hour true. and a half. What? Oh, they're gonna might, pay me? There might fuck be some them. Fix there. your app, bro. Fix your app <laughs> for four hours. I'm sitting here trying to watch people fight for four hours. I almost went on TikTok and bootlegged your shit because it was so long. And I, I could have just hit up any one of my friends. You want to know why? None of them pay for those fights. <laughs> <laughs> Not one of them. I fucking pay for that shit. And I had to ask Simi. I had to Apple Pay. Simi me to use her app you know why because it fucking was not working and it was pissing me off more than anything bro do you Damn. know why it wasn't working because dylan dan has sold the fuck out of the fight and everybody was watching it yeah but also he robbed everybody at ksi is talking about I got robbed. I got robbed. No, the audience <laughs> got robbed. The audience That's got true. robbed. Okay, what That's the true. fuck did we watch? Bro, yeah. what did we watch? I literally flew to Manchester to watch the fight in person, and I left. I, didn't I even left. Know bro, that. I know. I didn't tell you. I, I don't know why I didn't tell you, but I literally left early. Like no it was, way. It was that boring. It was like so boring. What during what fight did you leave? Like right after Logan's fight, I was like, "This is because it, it wasn't a good boxing. Like it really was." The Saul Poppy and the that Slim one. That was a great fight, uh, bro, bro. Fucking sl sorry, I gotta fix myself. Nice accountability freaking slim slim bro i gotta be honest and and slim i hope you take this sincerely you look annoying bro <laughs> like when i see you, you look annoying like when i watch this shit i'm like this kid's annoying so i don't pay attention to slim but then i started paying attention to slim and when you start paying attention to slim yeah. you kind of start falling in love with slim and then you start following Slim, and you're like, oh, I like this kid a lot. So I don't, he, I don't know what it was about him, but it, maybe he just came off like a YouTuber boxer and was mm -hmm. like trying too hard. But like now when I watch him, I'm like actually infatuated by where he's taking his career because this dude will show up being the underdog all the time and prove everybody wrong. I, If I'm a betting man, I would have never even considered weighing in on Slim beating out Salt Poppy. But... The he name. shows up, bro. Bro, he rocked he his ass. He shows that slow mo up. shot of the yeah. bop, and then Poppy almost looked like he was untouchable. He like started smiling at him, like yeah, and then bink right Clocked in the nose. Mm, it was so. It, it, it was picturesque. It, it, I don't know. How do I put this? It, I'm a Slim fan now. Yeah, I, I nice. am, if people ask me who's your favorite boxer, I'm like I'm following Slim now. I want to see where he takes this. I'm a Slim. I'm I'm, 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 sl <laughs> I'm Slim. <laughs> slim. I'm eating a Slim Jim while I'm watching Slim. <laughs> I just think that Dylan came off as a little girl. Can I say that? <laughs> Can it's I call okay, no, 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 the same thing? Here, here, this is what happened. I, she, she started out, she goes, we're not going to talk about Dylan being a bitch. And I was like, well, hold up. 
We saw what he's capable of. Okay, let's not let's not have him point his guns at us. Okay, let's let's just let, if you're gonna say some shit, say be nice about it. Okay, let's talk about him without getting his attention. <laughs> let's fly under the radar, bro. He's a, you know, you know that Dylan guy, kind of a little, mm, you know. It's just, mm. <laughs> I feel like just being on this podcast right now, my mom's in danger. Like, like I love my mom. Like, nothing's worth that risk. Uh, yeah, no, D- Dylan. Uh, Dylan, I think here's the thing, bro. He he came in there for the money, bro, and he just played yeah. all of us. He played yeah. all of us. I just think it was disappointing that it's like you caused such a havoc. I mean, I understand. Listen, you you got the fight to be talked about. You did that, but you just talked so much shit and then you weren't able to back it up unfortunately and i just think that that's like too bad because it's like at least like i'm not trying to say you know i'm not trying to come at him but it was just disappointed that it felt like he literally just waited out the whole fight like waited it out and we truly thought we're like oh he's just playing him he's waiting him out until the very end and then at the very end he's gonna like give it his all he's saving up his energy but he didn't even do that and it was just like yeah it was embarrassed it was just kind of embarrassing yeah. Like, Bro, it's like when you talk that much shit, you have to show up and make some sort of impact. Yeah. He, he landed a couple shots, and every time he yeah. landed it, it was like he was like laughing or he smiled. And it's like, well, guys, he never had a camp, like, he never had a coach, he never had a nutritionist, he never. That's true. He didn't. He, no, he just wanted to go and collect this bag. You got to understand. He didn't. He didn't want to become a boxer. He wanted to become a mixed martial artist. Mm-hmm. So right. when he saw this, he's like, "Oh, this. I can, think about this. He immediately went from." fighting in uh, mixed martial arts at a low ranking to selling one of the biggest fights in the world. $32 million. He, he, he went to, uh, who is Dylan? Oh, that's Connor's friend. To, A, Dylan Dennis is fucking making millions of dollars and he's playing the entertainment field. So mm-hmm. I get it, but also it's kind of like a, he only could play that card once, right? Yeah. He's like, no one's yeah. gonna, no one's gonna, unless he does mixed martial arts, which then I would I would want to watch that yeah. just to see what he does with that. Mm-hmm. So if he does mixed martial arts, dude, I want against Logan. I, I, I want to see something different, bro. I'm tired of the same characters. I want to see I want to see like a you know like the universe in Marvel where like <laughs> like colliding of people. Yeah. I want to see Dylan Dennis and Bradley Martin in a cage or like Ooh. you yeah. know what I mean like something like spice it up, bro. I'm tired yeah. of the main characters. Mm. Facts. Right. And then uh, just to wrap it up, I watched a Pierce Morgan interview with Dylan this morning, like the morning of recording this podcast. And the whole time he was like dodging it. Like Pierce was like, so we see the show. We, we see what you're doing. We see the character. But through that fight, you hit him maybe I think it was six or nine times over that many rounds. And then the whole time he had his shades on and he was like. Yeah, but like he just kept backing up. Like he didn't want to fight me the whole time. He no. like just had this character. Bro, it's he, just confusing. He literally hit Logan's security guards like he, more than he hit. Uh, he Logan didn't hit his security guards. He missed his security guards. He like guard. more attempts. You yes. know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's just a weak performance, bro. Yeah. But. It was just interesting. I just find it funny that you're like the way you mentioned it was like the top comment and you're like that's the top comment in the Oh and I yeah. Yeah, I know what you did there. <laughs> I did my research. Bro. I, did, I see what you did. Don't call him out like that. Call let him have it. Shit. I will call Can't you out. You just taking TikTok comments, bro? He and he said it wrong. <laughs> I literally did. I you literally butchered the I best butcher. comments on the. I did he goes, he goes, yeah, do you hear this? Uh, <laughs> you get, this is a clip on TikTok, and the top comment is, yo, that Indian guy's spitting. Yo, that guy's killing it, bro. That guy's all spoken. Yo, I'm trying my best, bro. Fuck, uh, yeah. No, nah, dude, you're, you're, you're killing it. Um, I've been getting a lot of uh, people uh, messaging me the whole. Uh, the situation that Logan said on his last podcast. I've been wrapping my head. On what to say about it, I think I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna hold back. Hmm. I haven't talked to him yet. He hasn't reached out. Uh, I haven't reached out. I feel like our hearts are kind of pointing in the same direction. I just I have a lot to bring up, and I feel like he'll have a lot to bring up. And until we handle it as men between us, I'm just kind of tired of like the love that yeah the talking online just because like I just see God moving. And so mm-hmm. I want to be quiet. Amen. And uh, it's so funny. Actually, I have an example of uh, how God works. I took five days to go to Arizona. And, um, 
and just bury myself in the work, just by myself in my place out there. It was right after the Gideon thing. A lot of things mm-hmm. at the comment section really just pierced my heart. Uh, and I knew that I was like, I got to pause everything in my life and make sure that I'm walking accordingly to where God wants me to walk. I just need to know if this is where you want me to go. Cause like, I don't want to go there if you don't want me to go there. And, and I'm just sitting there and I'm, I'm, I remember my tears are literally hitting the pages, but I'm not getting anything, man. So I go back to work. And to be honest, when I go back to work, I'm sad because I'm like, man, I really thought five days out there, I was going to feel new. You had expectations. I had expectations because I know my God shows up. I get on the phone with Cliff, the gentleman that I had a podcast with, um, and he explains to me this Bible verse. And I'm like, man, I got to... But he doesn't tell me what the Bible verse is. He just recites a Bible verse that's like, it, it hits in my soul. And it hit me so hard that I was like, oh man, like, I didn't even, I don't know why, but I didn't ask him, hey, what Bible verse was that? It was just kind of like I sat with it and I'm like, whoa. And I just started sobbing and I'm like, wow, thank you, God. Like, this kind of means a lot. But also kind of went away a little bit. It didn't sit with me. I come back to uh, LA and I get a text from a guy named Gavin. Now, this guy's in the industry. I don't know what he does in the industry. He DM'd me once about God and I messaged him back and I looked at his profile and he had like 2 million likes on a picture. And I'm like, who the hell is this guy? So I sent him a message and I was like, this is, this is a cool thing. So a couple months go by and now it's, I'm back from Arizona from that thing. And, and then he messaged me like, hey, we're, we're supposed to have lunch that day. And I was like, oh, damn, bro. Like, I just don't want to go right now. I do not want to go right now. And I'm just laying in bed and I'm like, bro, this is, I just took like four trips. This is supposed to be my, my day off where I'm recovering. And I'm like, nah, I'm not going to go. And then I'm like, but no, this might be the only opportunity this kid like, has to know about God. And I'm like, I'm not going to take that away from him. So I go. First of all, the kid's not a Spanish pop star because I thought he was like a Spanish pop star. I didn't, by the way, I didn't care to Google who he was. So I have no idea where this kid is. So in my mind, it's a Spanish pop star, dude. Not Spanish. The kid's from Texas, bro. Like, he doesn't, doesn't, doesn't even have an He threw me off completely when I got there. He's like, yo, what up, bro? And I'm like, what the fuck? I was like, wait, are you from, like, are you Mexican? And he's like, no. He's like, I'm from Texas. And I was like, oh, shit. So, like, that, that threw me off. And I was like, okay, cool, bro. Like, and, I, and so we sit down and I'm like, all right, God, like, help me help this man understand who you are before I like even start talking. And he goes, Hey man, I need to tell you something. And I'm like, all right. He's like, have you ever read Romans when Jesus is going? And I'm just like, Whoa, what? Oh, whoa. And then he starts reciting the Bible verse that Cliff recited to me. And I'm like staring at him and I'm like, Whoa, hold on. Like you, you know, Jesus like that. And he goes, Oh yeah. He goes, I'm obsessed. And then he just starts, bro, for one hour ministering to me. I thought I was going to minister to this man. This man out of nowhere, bro, started talking everything that I was crying out to God for in Arizona. Every, bro, I was bawling my eyes out at a sushi restaurant. <laughs> and I'm looking at him I'm like, bro, I'm so sorry, dude. I'm like, you everything. Just is, met him. Bro, yeah, yeah, bro yeah. dude. He came back. He's I'm like, dead. I didn't. I'm like. He's like, I'm hungry. And I'm like, didn't you just eat? He's like, I didn't eat. I was crying. Bro, he messed me up, bro. I'm sitting there. I'm like, I'm so sorry. And I'm like grabbing napkins. The waiter's not even coming to refill our drinks because they see. Dude, I'm not trying to be disrespectful. It looked like two gay guys breaking up. Because like, this is tall, beautiful man. And then it's me just being You're like. Getting I, dumped, I'm right? just You're like, getting yeah. dumped, right? And they're like, yeah. obviously, the short Middle Eastern guys get like, the guy figured out he could do better. Like, so I'm just like, and it is so funny. We're giving each other hugs outside. So I can, I can imagine. <laughs> and, and dude, this is the worst part. Like, after he's like, dude, let's pray. And I'm like, dude, please. Because, like, I feel like he was just sent from God. Like, literally, yeah. like, he even told Divine me, he goes, God told me to come talk to you. And I'm like, bro, d- hit me up anytime. So we're outside the restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> we're outside the restaurant and he's kind of and by the way he's just this tall good looking man so he's looking down at me <laughs> and he's holding me and he's just like praying over me but from outside it just looks like we're just having a moment you know like <laughs> like just say goodbye to each other <laughs> and so I'm like God bless like I hope like nobody else just watched that and he walks away I turn around and Justin my friend is sitting there with his hat and looking at me he goes you good bro like <laughs> <laughs> I what know. are the chances? So he walks away and I tell Justin, so you know how like when you're when you just had like a moment 
and you express it to your friend, you start bringing it up again, and it's like, yeah. so I'm like, you don't understand. Like, you started talking. I loved then, him so much. Yeah, dude. <laughs> so bro, they think you like called a friend for comfort, <laughs> dude. It's so funny, bro. Like, it's just it's so weird how God works, man. He shows up when you don't think he's gonna show up, and he shows out more than anybody that you'll ever imagine. So the reason I brought this is because uh, a lot of people when they messaged me about the Logan thing, they were like, I hope this is sincere. I hope this is sincere. And it's just like, mm. maybe we stop judging people and start understanding that we all are messed up. We're all trying to figure it out. And if he is sincere, if he's not sincere, he's still walking his life. And so if you really do want the best for him, me or that beautiful man, Gavin, it's enough chatting about somebody, just pray for them. And so like, that was just kind of like just my little spiel about that because this this whole week I've been on this uh, two things that's just been pounding me in the head to really get through this life. Love thy God with all of your heart and love your neighbor as, as yourself. And once you really master these two men, it's just, it's just you could walk on the storm. Uh, and if you feel like you're on a storm, remember Jesus could walk on water. So you don't have to feel like you're drowning all you got to do is call out to him and you could stand on that same exact storm that you feel like you can't get out of. And uh, the last thing I'll say about Logan is I do think it's sincere, man. And I think that you're something amazingly special, not only to everybody that sees you, but to God. And I pray to God with all of my might that you have a relationship with him and that you and your family have endless love um, and endless blessings. Um, and now we should probably move on from this because I just don't want to talk about that anymore. That was uh, awesome. that was awesome, beautiful. That was that was really beautiful. And there's the fights over the weekend, which were big, but something actually even bigger than this revelation you had. This is this is it. <laughs> what happened? You familiar with uh, Drake, the artist? Yeah, no, Drake. Who, who's that? Never heard uh, of hold on, let me think. <laughs> <laughs> I have I a Drake tattoo, brother. Yes. Uh, Are you talking about Drake. that man who just dropped the hardest song with J Cole? I'm actually talking about his son, Adonis. who dropped the hardest that was, song that of was the trash, year. That was trash, bro. That was trash. I saw, <laughs> You're I not saw, talking about my man Adonis like that. It's a don. Nah, you like, gotta say his name. That, right that kid needs to get the fuck out of here, bro. <laughs> that shit what was are you worse talking than about, bro? Well, was that it kid good? Is so he was, cute. He's like six years old, dog. He's adorable. All right, okay, play it. I didn't watch okay. it. I was just fucking around. He's I so watched cute. the clip of it. It was terrible. He's kind of it's kind of hard watch though. This, bro. No, what it's are you talking hard, about? Bro, this is really bad. No, he's it's not. 6 years old, George. Well, what do you want from me, bro? This is not bad. He sounds what like What were you five. doing when you were 6 years old, bro? Dancing like Michael Jackson winning awards. <laughs> Honestly, no, I want to tell you something. Drink. I don't want to do better. I don't, don't want to sound like whatever, but when I was 5 and 6, I was writing some really deep poetry and that shit rhymed and sounded better than my man right here. I pick what this is I want. unbelievable, bro. I don't. We're even just hating on six years. The disrespect. <laughs> he sounds like he's five, and you know Drake's it. Drake's never coming on this podcast. Fuck no. Drake. <laughs> no, 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 no. Listen, Drake wasn't coming on this show regardless. <laughs> no, listen. He is so freaking cute, like so cute. I could watch him do anything. Like he's so cute, but. I just think that when your dad is Drake, you couldn't pick a better beat. Like yes. that's what I think. Like when I saw the, the clip beat was of fire. it, I hope you when I saw the clip of it on he uh, is. on reels, it was just like t the beats. Okay, it couldn't be something more like here's, I don't know. Here's the thing. I mean, like, here's what I have to say about it. When so Drake has ghostwriters. This is all. <laughs> <laughs> this is all I'm getting out of this, bro. <laughs> but dude, he's he's six years old, and when your your dad is somebody like Drake, there's so many expectations. But I think it's so cool that what was cool they just, about that? There was no rhyming. There was no flow. There was but it's nothing. Him. He's also way better than Drake. Yeah, it is him. him. You can dude. put any six year old in who do that. The only people the reason are gassing up is because it's Drake's kid. Not any six year old do that. Any that six year old special. kid. That bro, was special. Bro. Yeah, it was special. My, A my, little too my, special. <laughs> <laughs> and listen, that's six. It's cute. Like he has charisma. Like I, he has no. Charisma. It wasn't cute. It was hard. He's okay. Okay. I think we but, can all agree he's better than Jaden Smith. When Damn. he was little. What? Yeah, like when Jaden Smith was coming up. No. What? Have you seen Jaden Smith when he did that? Like, what was it? Was Karate it a rap Kid. song? Yeah. His only thing that he's ever done, in my so opinion, good. that was good, was Never Say Never with Justin Bieber, and that was because Justin Bieber was Never on. Say yeah. Never. He sounded that was incredible. Jaden Smith with Justin Bieber was incredible. That was great. Right that was the that was the best duo. That was like that I think, was so yeah, good. It that was, was the best duo. Okay, my honest opinion about Drake. Yeah, let's get honest about this. Okay. 
Let's I, get real. I think it's very, very cute that his father is like painting him out to be an, like, you know, in the industry. But like, to me, sincerely as a father, it's like, why would you put your son out there like that? I get that. You he already I mean? is out there like that, though. And and before this, be. everybody he already. Be. He shouldn't be. Drake at this point is very much royalty. Very much royalty. Your kid's too young. Like he's you. You might have adapted to that lifestyle, but I think you forgot that that's gonna corrupt his brain. Like he should not be feeling yeah. that type of weight on the shoulders. There's, there's people that are my age that can't even handle this shit, mm -hmm. and and you're just throwing your kid into. But that. what that's if a great it's just point. like an art project to him? Like how do you why know you that the it weight out? is it on his shoulders? It doesn't need to be in front of that. the world, bro. Yeah. You know how many goons probably want to like murder Drake, and now they know who his kid is. Maybe they. Where knew did who you just take this? Fuck. Where did you just take this? <laughs> no, I'm agreeing with you. Sorry. I was talking about just like being an entertainer <laughs> as a kid, and like this guy's like, dude, now no. they know what school <laughs> goes to goes, now, bro. This guy goes, they're coming after his it's kid. Coming no, him. But it's what real. gangster comes after kids, bro? A lot of gangsters. Imagine if Takashi Six Nine had a kid, and his kid started making music, and he put him out there. You don't think that people that want to kill Takashi would also potentially want to harm the child? No. Yep. Yeah, I mean, people are terrible. I but think no. sick people. Dude, I, think it's, I, I know. I am very much close with some real. Like, I don't know. My, this might have to get cut. But there's there's people that are in our family tree that are very much on the gangster side of things. Not one gangster I've ever met in my life ever was like, you know what kids piss me off? <laughs> you know whose kid better not show up on this block, bro? Yeah. Literally, the one thing that you hear from a true gangster, no women, no kids. That's, That's it. That's I think it's cute that he's spending time and he's being a good father and he's hanging out with his kid. And he's he's put he's he's paving the way. And I'm not a father, so I can't point my fingers and say I just you know Drake has always made really good decisions. Truly, I've always been a Drake fan since the jump. Even that's the album where he like everybody's like this ain't it. I still thought it was it. I think he's a savant and he's like, he's gonna be a legendary human being yeah. if yeah, he's he not is. now. Yeah. I just. To me, it's like, bro, you got so much going on, bro. Don't bring your kid involved in this Like, shit. because it's just, then I think you mean, like, he's just open to criticism. Like, us being like, I mean, the beats kind of, like, me being like, it's kind of the beats whatever, and the rap is whatever, and then it's like the six-year-old is open to, like, uh, who the fuck are we giving the six-year-old criticism, and he has to, like, read the comments eventually, right? Oh, shit, and, like, I never yeah. really even thought and about he's gonna, that. Yeah. yeah, so it's, uh, he's already, like, <laughs> and what if when he's ten, when you're six, you don't know what's going on, and then when you're ten, you're like, oh, I wish this wasn't out about me, and mm -hmm. all these people think this way about me, and I don't know who to be in front of everyone. It, I, that make, it does make things messy. I feel like we grew up with watching Nickelodeon and child stars. And the reason that I think this is cool, there's reasons it's not cool. If I was 16 years old and there was a video when I was six of me freestyling, I'd be like, can we take that down? <laughs> but we grew up consuming so many child stars. Mm -hmm. And when I look at it, it feels so scripted and so like there's an agenda and like you are formed and crafted into the perfect kid mm -hmm. and what i like about this is it feels like his personality is actually shining through a little bit mm -hmm. like he's not like oh that take was that was bad we we got to do it like this it's like it it feels like it's actually a capturing of him and his creative mind and him discovering mm -hmm. that he, 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 he maybe he's he wants to be an artist mm -hmm. and it, it just yeah. feels authentic and that's what i appreciate about it I get what you're saying. Yeah. Because here's I another like thing. That, yeah. Like, we don't know their relationship because, like, what if he's like, Dad, I really want to be like you every day. Genuinely. And, and his yeah. dad's like, hey, you know what, son? Like, yeah. I have the ability to make your dreams come true. Let's just make that happen. Yeah. So, honestly, you're right. Like, I think I think that it was a very sweet thing. I'm just sad it was such a trash ass song. <laughs> <laughs> just, hey, uh, man, he has time, bro. He's yeah, six. Yeah. Not on my account. <laughs> so, Too late. <laughs> Too late. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Drake reviews my music and he just fucking shit up. <laughs> He's like, <laughs> still better than your son, bitch. <laughs> no, but that is a fair point. It's like his peers, instead of watching Nickelodeon, they're watching him. Yeah, which is cute. That's yeah, true. totally. Mm -hmm. Also, this is like an ancillary uh, stream of income for Drake because like people are probably gonna start paying for features from Adonis. Dude, let me you tell know? you something. You know what? The one thing that Drake doesn't need money. <laughs> that guy is very, very wealthy. Guy. Here's the thing: when you're dumb rich like drake that's already like a bonus but you're drake which means you don't even have to pay for anything dude you have millionaires trying to throw money at you to hang out with you how many generations do you think drake is set for like his family his bloodline forever for, for how long forever forever, forever. Yeah. yeah think about it. his money his money is still going to be growing that's true because his music even when you, it's the, the royalties royalties. <laughs> <laughs> what did i say Ooh, <laughs> 
Yes, it's music. <laughs> you look like an aristocrat from like the fifties. Yeah, <laughs> see, it's music. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, yeah. Well, was that the thing you were gonna show us, and you were like, "Oh, you're gonna be blown away by that." Yeah, that was it. Yeah, I just didn't know if you guys. It wasn't on the it. notes, so I was like, "They haven't seen this." No, I like it. Just was, was so great. left field. No, no, that was that was great. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, can, speaking can of a hot air? song. Speaking of a hot song, have you guys heard of Pepper X? No. The hottest pepper on the planet. <laughs> what? It's three times hotter than the previous pepper. I'm talking about like spicy. This thing is fucking insane, bro. What's the previous? I thought you were talking about a band at first. The hot chili no, no, no. peppers? Pepper Not X. the chili peppers. No. <laughs> but it's, What's the uh, previous hottest pepper, the ghost? Pepper? I think so. But this one, it measures an average of 2.693 million Scoville heat units. Did you bring is, one for us to try? Yeah, I actually got one right here. No, you're joking. Oh, oh. don't dap him up for that. What the Dude. fuck? Hey, by good. the way, I just want to let you that. guys know, Davidge is the <laughs> cutest man to me because, like, he. I, I, I'm not gonna say that. Like, no, say it. No, 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 no. no, no Come it. on, bro. I never I, get compliments. This is like. I, I oh, this it was gonna turn what? into an insult. <laughs> I, I don't. It was you gonna never what? get compliments. No, wait. Finish it though. What? The compliment. It was, it was gonna turn into an insult. Oh, goddamn. <laughs> oh, stop. Story of my life. Sorry, I'm okay. I never hey, no, this will this will cheer you up. Actually, him. brought wait, I brought something for you. Nah, see that's lame. Well, first of all, first of all, why is your finger so? Yeah, long? your finger's weird. Ooh. Oh, <laughs> your finger is. So your finger looks Whoa. like your finger looks like Slim, the fucking Whoa. fighter. <laughs> wait, what did you just say? He said your finger looks like Slim, the <laughs> fighter. <laughs> like my fingers look like his face. Just looks like him as a person. Yeah. Uh that's hilarious. That's so funny. That's crazy. Um, I do have a tidbit of information. Oh, please. That I want to share with people. <laughs> well, thankfully. This would be the place to do that. It is a podcast. Yeah. We're recording? Dude, we're, we're the kings Let's at sure prefacing we get this. before are we, we talk. <laughs> are, we, are you guys ready? Okay. No, we're listening. <laughs> <laughs> no, so um, recently, well, my mom's been telling me for like months, and I just started doing it about a month and a half ago. And Georgie's been doing it with me for about a good month. And if you haven't heard about it, <clears throat> it's called Celtic Salt. And it's a mineral sea salt that's so healthy for you. And uh, there's certain ones that you want to get, you know, so that they're like, you want to get like pure Celtic sea salt. But you just take like a pinch and you put it underneath your tongue like two to three times a day. You let it like dissolve and you drink water with it. And it's kind of like when you're drinking just water that doesn't have any minerals in it. You're just drinking it. It's going into your stomach. That's about it. But when you're drinking water with actual pure good minerals in it, it actually carries it into your tissues and into your cells and actually like hydrates you the way that you're meant to be hydrated. And since we've started doing this and putting the Celtic sea salt underneath our tongue and then drinking water with it, we have been so hydrated my skin has never been better like i've had a good year and a half two years i've really struggled with my skin just like i don't know why two years ago my hormones decided to just like you know they said screw you bell and it's just like i've struggled so much with my skin and i really feel like this has been the thing to be so hydrated it's helped me so much and like like we're we're so show them your arm can you do that again pinch your arm babe <laughs> so it's like cocaine but healthy basically no it's like a white powder oh, shit. you see that snap you see that snapback <laughs> like we're so hydrated and it's really how help- uh, what's wrong smiling at you i just feel like not a lot of people like know about this and it's such a vital thing minerals are so important for your body we all lack in magnesium we all lack in zinc what hey, speak for yourself what is she keep saying what <laughs> what do you I'm mean just, bro you're staring her like this like and smiling at me like i'm like i'm saying the most dumbass thing i want to share this so with talking about, no, yeah. i'm very excited about the salt i take it every day Okay, well, freaking, like, be excited about it. You're so excited about it. He raves about it. He's so stoked on this because it's helped him a lot. And he's trying to gatekeep it from you guys. That's right. No, it's really Shana, great. this is actually, like, very important. Because I think, especially as men, <laughs> stop. We don't take, we don't have enough tools and resources to know what we should use to take care of our body and our skin. Mm-hmm. And, bro, we are all energy. Like, we mm-hmm. need things to... <laughs> Stop. I can't even why are you guys so like we, freaking no, stupid? No, you're right. you. This is why their, their skin in ten years is gonna go. This is why I have beautiful skin. We need things. Bro, the one eighty you just did. <laughs> I, I'm with you, Sean. I, no, I'm with I you too. You, but bro, you went from laughing to like. I know, because I, I could oh, tell it was we're being we were being assholes to her. You bro. guys are being assholes. But, 
I just want everybody to know, we could have easily cut around me smiling and shit. I was letting you talk. I wasn't just saying anything. You brought up the fact on my face. We we talk about all things. We talk about all things, but we don't talk about health things. And that's something that I'm very well versed in. Can like we, very well versed in. I have, so I would I, love to share more tidbits about speaking it. Speaking of health Shut things, up. speaking of health things, uh, I'd like to recommend you guys a Netflix show. Okay. It's about oh. blue zones. <laughs> I'll just mute his mic. Cool. Uh, blue zones. Do you guys know what blue zones are? No. The opposite it's of red uh, zones? It's, um, <laughs> there's five places in the world with the highest concentrated amount of people that live to 100 or older. <laughs> oh, Okinawa, hey, wait, Japan. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Isn't one of them in uh, Arizona? Flagstaff? Or no. Sedona? Sedona. It's in Sedona. No. There's one in California, Loma Linda. What's that second one that I literally just said? Okinawa. <clears throat> Where's that? Japan. Okinawa. Mm-hmm. It's the oldest population in the world. So people live to like 120. And people literally travel there to like see what they do and what the secrets are for their like longevity in life. And if you watch the TV show, they go through all of it. It's super interesting. And the most interesting thing to me was that all of these five zones mostly live in poverty. Like these are very poor areas. Really? But they live super long. And it's. The show goes over how in the Western world, we're super focused on our diets and working out and vitamins and supplements and all these things that we think is the key to longevity. But all of these other places, it's just their lifestyles. Mm-hmm. Like there's this place in Greece where it's like a village town mm-hmm. and there's 80 year olds that are walking up and down a mountain every single day. Mm-hmm. They don't well, stop. Let me tell you why. Because in Greece and Italy and these other places, they naturally have m- things like minerals in their water supply. <laughs> their you regular water <laughs> that they're drinking every day. I hope you choke on that. Drink Celsius. Nice. Um, <laughs> their uh, regular water that they drink mm-hmm. every day. That's just from their tap, whatever, has minerals in it. The yeah. like water that they're around, it's literally the minerals is in the air. So all the quality of their food, the quality of their meats, the quality of their flour, yeah, the quality of their dairy, all that mm-hmm. stuff is so much better than here in the US, unfortunately. Yeah. And so they they just naturally acquire this, like they don't even think about it. They don't even think about like the deepness of all that because they just have it. It's normal to them. Mm -hmm. But for us in the U.S., because of how much things have been altered, we have to go like that extra mile to go like find it and to figure out like a way around it. Because our water doesn't have it. And, you know, I think at the end of the day, like we're (laughs) I don't know why I said it like that. Simplicity is like the key to longevity. And I was watching the documentary about Okinawa, Japan, and literally the things that they do out there. Stop laughing. But I don't know. I have the giggles right now. (laughs) Green tea. Mm-hmm. Sweet potatoes, mm-hmm. gardening. Sweet potatoes was a big one. Mm-hmm. Yeah, gardening, like spending time mm-hmm. outside, doing things where you're in your flow state, where it's mm-hmm. like your mind is so present on this one task, right? Like you're just, you don't care about anything else. Yeah, purpose. Purpose. Mm-hmm. And community totally. was a big one too. Well, and then being outside, like in the sun, and having like your bare feet too, like on the ground and being grounded to the earth, because we're just like, we're all frequency and like energy. energy. And so we need to be mm-hmm. like connected to, to like the earth and like what's like fueling us, you know? Yeah. 100%. She's we don't do seconds that. Seconds away of becoming a hippie, bro. Should we meditate? <laughs> se- all of you guys are seconds away of being like, nah, I'm going to stay over I here. I mean, all these places. You know places who's going like- to be laughing when I'm in my 50s and I look incredible? And you're not going to be laughing about it then. You're going to be very thankful, okay? For us to be healthy. So who's laughing? Okay? She goes, you know who's going to be laughing? Not you because I'll... <laughs> Bro, you're such a dumbass sometimes. Regardless of how Georgia responded to that, because it was just George. Yeah. <clears throat> people heard your fact. You helped people. Yeah, I'm glad. So yeah. if that's what it takes, is George laughing at you? It's worth it, Belle. <laughs> you just make it so deep. Yeah, <laughs> that to. was so deep. It's so deep, bro. Uh, so we're like two weeks away from the live show. First ever George Janko show live. First ever George Janko show live. Guys, let me tell you something. This is going to be an event you do not want to miss. If you're in Los Angeles or honestly outside of Los Angeles, fly in for the very, very first show ever. Uh, I'm going to open up. I'm going to come out there, hang out with you guys, Open do a up, little stand-up. Clarify, you're doing stand-up, right? I'm not only doing stand-up jokes that I've written, but I'm doing improv So I'm going to be talking with the crowd and joking around with them. Uh, for those of you guys that don't know what improv is, it's like you're making up jokes on the spot with everybody around you. It's going to be really fun. It's going to be active for you guys. You guys are going to have a mic in the crowd. You guys are going to be able to hang out with us, talk to us back. And then we're going to start the show. We're going to bring this living room set onto the show. So I'm bringing my home to you guys. So if you are a fan of the show, I'm telling you guys... <clears throat> 
it's going to be one of those nights that I never forget in my life. And I would really appreciate if you guys come. So if you guys are going to be there, I'll never forget. I'm actually going to give every single buddy a hug there. Like legit. I'm going to stand by the door when you guys are leaving and give every single one of you guys a hug. You have like a hug booth. A hug booth. VIP. Oh, that's so cute. That's it's really a kissing sweet. booth, a hug booth. Oh, Aww. that's so, we're doing that. Are you, are you nervous? Am I this nervous? Is, are you nervous yeah. for this? Uh, I'm, I'm kind of nervous. Yes and yeah, no. To be a part of it, I don't even <laughs> know what my part is going to be, but I'm just, it's nerve wracking. Uh, we're doing a live show. <laughs> the performance aspect, nah, I'm, I'm, I love performing, bro. I love it. So like it, being in front of them, I'll be super charged up and ready to go. Mm -hmm. It's going to be And how fans, cool to bro. like see like the podcast audience and like, to actually see the podcast audience, you know what I mean? Crazy. Like in that's the comment section. You know, just come through, guys. Some guy in the audience first comment. We're like, what? Like, <laughs> 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 like, do that. They start shouting. Things. Um, no, it's gonna be really cool, dude. It's gonna be really fun. And also, it's like it's a test, right? So we're gonna be documenting the whole thing. And if it, it's a successful thing, we're gonna hit the whole tour. We're gonna hit a whole tour, go around, God willing, the world. Mm -hmm. And do the show in front of people and um, comment down below if you if you want me to come to your city because I, I want to see how many cities. And also, don't forget, I did a little text blast thing. That's serious. So for updates, for like I don't know, like if you guys want to come to a show or if you anything exclusive, uh, do that texting thing that we were talking about. Uh, I put out my number and I'll have it. I'll have a link in the description. But yeah, text me because those people are gonna get like crazy updates right away. And also if you put yourself in the text log, if for example, I'm in like Connecticut or Chicago or Texas, I could text specifically the people that are in Texas, like, hey, I'm, I'm gonna do a quick show here tonight, like come through. So like it, it wouldn't be like a prep thing, but you could get it like, I'm texting you as a friend, like, hey, tonight I'm gonna be in Houston, come through, hang out with me. And uh, that way you could, cause I'm not gonna go on an IG story and do that, cause that'll be a little much. Yeah. So if you want to get locked in with me, text me. Link is in the description. Lock in, baby. And then the number is in the description, Lock actually. In. So just, you could just text me there. Um, <clears throat> it's going to be so much fun. Guys, we have crazy guests lined up. The next two, I'll just mention the next two. Uh, Lamorne Morris. Winston from New Girl, a.k.a. Winston from New Girl. Mm -hmm. uh, one of my favorite shows, me and Belle go to bed every single night watching New Girl. Uh, we had him on the show an amazing episode that comes out a week from today that you guys are watching this. Woo. And then uh, two weeks after that, we have Nikki Glazer. Legend. Mm -hmm. That Another was great a episode. phenomenal, phenomenal Insane. podcast. I want to tell them. Can't, can't do it. I can't, right? Can't do guys, it. Guys, there's a guest. No, not even a clue. There's three guests that we're having out. I promise you I'm breaking the internet when it happens. I'm, mark my words, I'm breaking the internet when that happens. And it's already locked in. We're, we're already going. It's I happening. just I'm not a man who speaks before it's done, but just mark my mm. words. So when it does happen, you'll be like, damn, bro, you had it in the books a long time ago, bro. So put your notifications on. So turn nice. hit the bell. <laughs> oh <laughs> shit. Yeah, that was good. Um and don't forget, before we wrap up, you're missing minerals in your body. And if you take a pinch of salt and put it underneath your tongue and let it melt. Damn, I've never heard down. about this before. Wait, so what? <laughs> there's this mineral that you're missing because like in your water and when you're just drinking water, you're Zim. just yeah. drinking water. And oh, because I just usually just drink water. <laughs> just. <laughs> I'm just glad people get to hear it. You know, it's for you guys. Don't play, for the, them. Don't play don't, the victim. Don't, be don't, don't play the victim. Don't, don't make it real. Them. Don't play the victim. Belle, we love you. Mm. We're, we're boys, bro. Mm. Bells, bells, boys and bell, boys and bell, boys and bell. Next, yeah, well, you know what? Bell was really missing her boys when she was uh, trying to talk about something. But that's we it. were right here. That's it. If I even see one comment of people like, you better let her speak. You're we're gonna rude. delete comments. I'm talk deleting, about Bell, so don't I'm even deleting Bell. She's she's gone. <laughs> she she's that. She's gonna be on the show. If I'm not in the next Bell. episode, you guys, you know why? <laughs> <laughs> It's like an AI person that like has Belle's face like pasted on it. Have you seen She's the just smiling the whole time. <laughs> you She's Morse code. Hey, there's hey, Morse code for help me. <laughs> you want to know what's worse? That after this episode, Georgie is going to literally take a pinch of the Celtic sea salt and put it underneath his tongue because he does it every day. The worst part is right before I jumped on this couch, I did it. Yeah, you're a bitch. I, you know, it's kind of like the Warren Buffett effect, right? You don't want other people to get rich. You just want to pretend uh, like they're... <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm just you were saving it for yourself. That makes sense. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. I'm not trying to give you guys the sauce. I'm trying to give you guys the salt. The salt. <laughs> All right, guys. Obviously, we ran out of things to talk about. <laughs> <laughs> so other than that, thank you guys for watching, listening, subscribing. We'll see you guys next time. Thank you. Bye. On the George Janko Show. Love you. Bye, guys. Sayonara.
Celtic. Sorry, I don't know what I'm doing sex noises. Yeah. Salt. Salt. Pepper. Uh, salt. My girl talk about salt. Uh, uh, my girl talk about salt. 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 Is any gun and body jumping? Salt. Salt. It's your fault. You're the worst boyfriend. You should be better. <laughs> <laughs> Not.